there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another gameplay video, the solo gameplay video. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Lift Off, Get Me Off This Planet, the expanded deluxe edition from Pencil First Games LLC. This is for one to six players. 13 plus on the age. It's going to take about 45 minutes to play. And Lift Off, the original, was actually a game that I enjoyed so much. I kept it in my collection after years and years and years. I thought it was a great family weight game, but still, well, as long as you have an older family, but still could be played on game night. It had enough teeth. The new deluxe edition has more tiles, more variability. It goes up to six players. It also has the solo mode, which we're going to try right here. And I'm very excited to get this one to the table right now. So, in Liftoff, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all 10 of my aliens off of the planet. How I'm going to have to do that is I'm going to have to repair the different Liftoff rocket points and then put my people on there and hopefully launch into space. But it's not going to be that easy because I'm using some of the new ones and they have some very interesting things going on. So we have everything set up. Let's just get into the game and you'll quickly get a feel for how everything works. But the main goal is that I have to get everyone off the planet before... I take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight turns, it looks like, because then the moon has completed a rotation, which means one day is over and boom, explosion. So we got our starting hand. We got two screws, a little wild one, which can be a screw or a gas or a gas. Now, these are going to be cards that we're going to utilize to hopefully get us onto the launch points, but we can't actually get ourselves onto the launch point and get ready to launch until we repair them. And repairing them is not going to be the easiest because the cost to repair them is dictated by the position of the moon. And this is one of the big mechanisms in the game is that depending on what position the moon is, it's going to cost different things. So like say for instance right here, this particular rocket cannot launch when it's like this or like this. It has to be like that. And that's a I believe that's a full moon and a new moon and a half moon, and we'll get into all that later, but let's just get a round started. So uh, we got a turn card right here, which will help you what to do. I wish this was double-sided and had solo on the back instead of just being the same, but it's slightly changed because we actually now have three move alien actions, and we have three scrap repair points, and I'll explain how that works. So let's go ahead and use this new tunnel right here, the drill rig. I like this one because normally it costs you one movement to get up. But with this one, it actually only costs a gas or a drill or a gas or a screw, which means I save my oh so valuable movement points. So I will go ahead and do that and I'll spend that and one of them will pop up right here. And then I'll go right over here with my first movement action. And I will actually get rid of one of these pieces of scrap to show you how it works. So if I were right here and it was a full moon, it would only cost me one to get rid of this and one to get rid of that. That'd be spectacular. Both those would boom, poof, be gone, be cleared. But I am not there. If it were a new moon, which means it's all the way over here, uh, completely at the other end, it would cost me three. And if it's anywhere else, which it is right now, because it's actually right there, it's only going to cost me two. So I will spend two to get rid of that right there. I still have one screw repair action this turn, but I'm not going to be able to utilize it because there's nothing to fix right there. So I still have two move actions left. Let's show you some of the, uh, the fun ones here. So this one right here is a really interesting one because instead of just poop popping out, you are actually going to roll the dice and... Whatever number you get is how many spaces you're going to go up. So I got a four. One, two, three, four. He's not quite popped up. But for my second movement action, I'm going to send another dude up here. And, oh, one, two. But what's going to happen is the next person is going to push all of them out. So it'll kind of pop them all out at one time, potentially. So it's kind of interesting there. So I use my three movement. I use my repair. There's no cards that I really want to play that are going to benefit me at the time. I could get somebody else up here, but I'm going to save these cards for now. Uh, I could trade two cards for one, but I don't want to do that. So now we're going to get to the bookkeeping thing, which means first thing, the moon is going to move. Boom. So now uh, it's going to cost me a whole three to repair this next time, but it'll be nice because then I'll be able to start using the rocket and I can show you how it works. Actually, this one's called the satellite. Uh, then we're going to draw three cards from the draw pile. And then the dreaded Gargaloyer. Oh, come on. Oh, we didn't get any of our fancy cards. Then the dreaded Gargaloyer is going to take his turn. So this is the Gargaloyer right now. This is the main protagonist, the bad guy that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, the Gargaloyer's action is determined by flipping the top card of the Gargaloyer action deck. And then there are six different cards. And whatever happens is going to affect these three locations right here. So we have Stomp. 
aliens are knocked off of platforms. That's not a bad one to get right now because no one is on a platform. So that would affect this platform right here. The platform is the yellow and black part and this elevator right here. So as you can see, my guy is not on the platform. But when he finally does get on the platform, what we'll do is we'll stand him up like this so that way we know he's ready to launch, ready to lift off. So that was uh, my thing. Now we're going to move the Gargalore, and he goes 90 degrees, just like that. So now he's messing with this and with that. And just like that, we have completed our first round. So let's see what we're going to do next. Ooh, I don't like the fact that he's right there. Hmm. It only cost me one to repair these right now, so I feel like it's a great idea to get up there. So we're just going to take this regular tube. Floop, doop, doop, bloop, bloop. That's one movement two movements and this one is also a little bit uh kind of not really optimized for a solo version of the game which is kind of disappointing because in the solo version of the game they tell you to take out certain tiles or certain tiles i'm not using this one they really should have because it it asks you to take uh another one of a not another color up so really despite the fact this looks fancy and looks neat it's it's not really something that even we could technically use but i'm just assuming we can use it uh, because the only way you can go up is by taking another alien of another color. And, well, there's no other aliens of other colors. So we're here. I'm going to first spend the two scrap to clean that up. So one and two, and they're extra cheap because it is a full moon. We have one more repair action, but we're not going to be able to utilize it over here. And we still have our one move action. Hmm. Now we could also load this guy up. It's going to cost us one screw to load him up there. And that actually doesn't cost a movement action because we're playing a card. So we will totally do that. And now he is ready to rock and roll. And now how this one works, this is the elevator. And this is one of the new tiles in the game. They're also double-sided now. They didn't used to be double-sided, which is really nice. Up to four aliens can wait on here. And as you can see, it's got the limit right there. So the limit over here is six. The limit over here is three. And on this particular one, it is four. And on their turn, oh, placement on the platform costs one screw. And on their turn, the active player may pay one action card, which is a red-bordered card. I haven't drawn any yet, unfortunately. And... Flip over the top card of the elevator deck right here. And if it is the liftoff card, then you will lift off. And oh, wow, there's only one. And it was on top. Why would I have to show you guys? Oh, why would I have to show you? <laughs> I got to shovel it back up. So that, I don't know if that's the best spot to go, but here's the thing. When we do hit it, it could potentially be four aliens out. So as much as I want to use this fun spot up here, I think I'm going to use my final movement action to bleep, 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 put him up on the surface right there. We got some cards. We could trade two for one, but I'm not really feeling that just yet because I don't I don't think anything is really going to help us too much, even though maybe I, um, I think one of the, uh, the cards might give me movement because we're actually going to be modifying three of the cards, which three of them are. Uh, but it's one of the solo versions where the cards wouldn't actually help us in the solo version of the game, so they modified them, which is great. That shows they actually put some time and attention to the solo game because I tell you what, I've played some solo games where it's like, this card is completely useless. Thanks, game designers, for not mentioning it in the solo rules. Off the soapbox now. So the moon is going to move one space. Don't like that. We're going to draw three cards. I do like that. And we got a red one, baby. Two red ones, three red ones. So we want to jack that up. We got to get some aliens on there. We got to get them on there fast. But now the Gargalore is going to take his turn. What will Gargalore do? Uh, if at any time the Gargalore deck is empty, shuffle it. So we are going to run through all the bad cards in here. Guaranteed the break. Add two scrap tokens to the liftoff points. That is very, dude, that's unfortunate. Now, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure I don't actually have to repair all of these. I just have to get all my aliens off. It's not like they're trying to be handymen here. So this one might just be, might just be donezo, <laughs> I think. I think this is our hope. Yeah, our hope will be one. All right, so taking our actions, added the, the break. That one hurts. We move the gargler now this way and really want to try... And see if we can't get some people on there. So let's see what red cards we did draw. Uh, the Gargalore. Now, do not move the Gargalore. Instead, use it to cancel the effect of a Gargalore action. That's really good. Uh, move the moon one spot in either direction. That's spectacular. That's some that's some game manipulation we're going to need. So I don't want to spend that. All liftoff points are now moon. Are new moon this turn. <gasps> oh, 
that makes it so cheap. I could repair that. Wait, new moon. Oh, new moon is three repair cost. Why would I want that? So this is actually not a good card for me at all. Oh, unless new moon's going to let me launch stuff off. But it doesn't really look like new moon is really going to have an impact with the tiles we have out here. So this is definitely a card that we can burn to go here. But we got to get there. So let's get going there. Man, I really wish this drill rig was here instead of there. This is six screws. I don't know. I don't know. We're in some trouble. All right. One, two, three. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. So we have to spend some screws. We got screws for days, which means pa pow, pa pow. They are up there. And I almost feel like we should try and launch these three before something bad happens. Now, we do have control of the Gargalore, and we do have control of the Moon, so I feel like we should try and optimize now that, I'm, now that I'm saying it out loud and get all four over here. And I feel like this one... Wait, which one can let us get six? This one can let us get six. Actually, this is... The wormhole is really one we should be working toward because the wormhole is actually going to let us dig through this hand of cards and pick out two cards that we need, which could potentially prove to be invaluable. But we've taken our three movement. We have... Have we scrapped? I don't think we've scrapped anything yet. So we have to do it either here. That place is already done. So it's going to cost us two. And so we'll get rid of one because why not? And man, this is this is looking a little bit a little bit dicey here. So we're going to move the moon token, which means we can repair this hopefully next time. Yeah, we should be able to because that's only going to be one movement. That's nice. And we could go two, three, which means we could have this ready to launch as well. I think we have a plan formulated for next turn. And then Gargalore deck. Yeah, let's do it. Don't hit me too hard. Oh, he's taking a nap. Nothing happens. Okay, I like it. I like it. And then the Gargalore moves one space. He started this way, so now he is... Don't you mess with my stuff, young man. All right, so... So now we got this one. Whoop. One... One... That would be a screw. Okay. No, we'll use a gas. We'll use a gas. Because the screws, I think, are going to be a little bit more useful. And then we have one movement. And then we have two three and if we pay the screw he is now up there did we i don't think we drew three cards we did not draw three cards we are cheater cheater pumpkin eaters and look at that we got oh we got another purple card perfect so we paid our screw and now we have four people up there and we've used our three movement we can fix this for one, two. That's spectacular. So now that is cleared up. That's going to be able to hold six people. So this is something that we definitely want to consider getting. Mm, yeah, I think these is it. We need to load this up and this up. Oh, you stupid. Why are you so? Why are you over here? You're not helping, you stupid little. Oh, damn it. It's not your fault. It's my fault. All right, here we go. We're going to use this. Load him up. So he is now up there. But let's make sure I'm doing this one correctly. This is the new one. This is a wormhole. It's weird. It's wonky. And it might get us some red cards, which means it could be spectacular once we get it uh, to something that we can do. So the wormhole, a magnetic anomaly, has caused a wormhole to appear that can whisk away up to six aliens into the depth of space. Six aliens. Maui wow. Pay one screw to place on the launch platform. That's cheap. And for each additional screw, the active player can try to activate the wormhole by rolling the white die. All aliens present on the platform will lift off with a three rocket result during any moon. Additionally, once per turn, the active player may harness the power of the wormhole to change the cards in their hand if they have at least one alien present on this location. What? Not only on the platform, but just out here. That's really nice. You could have used that last time. The active player can try to activate... Oh, wait. Uh, excuse me. They may play two game cards from their hand on top of the eight cards on the wormhole board and then pick up the deck and take any two game cards from the deck back into their hand, returning the remaining eight cards to the wormhole. So pretty much I'm going to put two on and then I'm going to get two back, but I'm going to get whatever I want. Wow, that is really nice. But let's see, use one more alien movement point. That's also really nice as well. I don't want to get rid of that one. I'll tell you what, we can get rid of these two guests. So I put them right here. Now we should have eight cards here. We actually have ten cards here. Oh, but -da -ba -da -ba -da. We'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that. If it wasn't random, I don't care. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. 
Uh, Electric Storm, all players discard all cards. So instead, because obviously that would not be a useful card in the solo version of the game, this Electric Storm will allow me to gain an additional repair action. So an action. I don't know if that's really the best. It would... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, but you know what? I can use this to go over here. So I do kind of want that electrical storm. That's a free card. Uh, move Gargalore to a liftoff point on the core and Gargalore. Instead, do not move the Gargalore. Instead, use it to cancel the effect of a Gargalore action. Yeah, we're going to do that because Gargalore manipulation is what I'm all about, baby. Look at that. Look at our big. Okay, but now we need screws. Oh, well, what else? All right, so. I feel like we should try right now to play some cards and lift these bad boys off. But what are we going to move? Uh, Asteroid. Yep, we're going to do Asteroid. Bam! So we've spent the one card, and now we get to flip over one of the cards. Come on, give it to me. Arr, no, elevator does not go. The pump car. No, that's the elevator. Can I play another one? I have two Gargalors, which I don't want to get rid of. The electric store will let me gain an additional repair action. Nope, let's spend it. Ah, okay, okay, that's all right, that's all right, and I'm pretty sure those, uh, eventually, at some point, we are going to trigger that. I don't think we reshuffle those, but I will double check. That is the elevator, because it's such a new one. And elevator, all four you. On their turn, the player may pay one action card to press the elevator call button and flip over the top card. And this can be done once a turn. Do, do, do. Yep, so it will eventually happen. If I pay six cards, I will make that happen. Happen. but i do believe i am done for this turn i don't want to play any more cards actually pushing these guys up might be nice mm, yeah i'll push them up i'll use it why not roll the dice where's the dice where's the d6 there it is push him up one two three four so these two just popped out but he's still stuck there oh god blah oh you know what i should just i'm a noob I'm a noob. I should have just made the bottom guy move. Oh, well. That's it. That's my turn. Move the moon. Do, do, do. And then we're going to draw three cards. Give me some reds. Give me some reds. Give me some reds. You did not give me reds. And then we are going to uh, do the Gargalore. So Gargalore is going to attack. Oh, he's taking a nap. That's actually perfect. That, so we don't even have to use any of our fancy cards in our hand just yet. And now we are back to the phase we were before. And I feel like I want to put two cards right down here. Let's get rid of this gas. I don't really want gas. So gas in the pile. Give me some red cards to spend. I'll take these two because I just need red cards. So I have three movement action, three repair action. I don't, I don't feel like I want to repair though. Like... <laughs> Let me, let me make sure that that is 100% correct. As soon as you have all 10 of the aliens off the planet, the game ends in victory. So I really don't care about the scrap over here. Like, forget it. It's done. Let's go one, two, three, and sure, four. Four. And then I have so many... Yeah, I feel like I should move the moon. I need to hold on to the moon. I have to hold on to the moon, right? Like that that is a that is a that is a no-brainer. But here's the thing. I feel like I'm getting rushed. I'm being pressured to launch these four off, but I have the gargoyle cards, which means I can cancel anything bad that's going to happen to them. So I don't need to I don't need to rush. I don't need to make a stupid decision, and I think I'm just going to be content not doing anything else this turn. Oh, repair, even though I guess <laughs> Uh, let's see, so it's two to get rid of that. Sure, get rid of it. Chill out. Play it cool. We're good. Wait, trade two cards for one. That is just a random card from the top. I want to make sure that's not going through the pile and picking whatever you want, but I'm 99% sure that would be a little bit too powerful. Yes, yes, that would be way too powerful. Discard two other cards of the choice from their hand to draw one new card. Yes. I'm like my friend Lucy trying to game the rules right now. <laughs> Whenever Lucy grabs the rule book, I'm just like, no, Lucy, you can't do it. Yeah, we're good. Three cards. Let's go. Oh, move the moon. Moon's getting a little close. I don't like how close the moon's going. Luckily, we pull it back. We'll draw our three cards. Yes! Oh, my God! We might have to start trading cards. And the Gargalore does his thing. Charge. Return surface aliens to the core. 
surface aliens to the core. Does that include the ones on the launch pad? Aliens on platforms are not affected. Ha ha ha! Safe. Booyah! Which means we don't even have to spend any of our cards. That really worked out well for us. All right, but time, time is not our friend. We have four turns left, but we are going to have a fifth turn. This stupid gas is clogging my hand up. But you know what I can do? I can put these here, and I can get these screws out, because at least the screws will let me get onto the wormhole. So now we got one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. We'll pay a gas to go free. Then we'll go two, and then we'll go three. And that looks pretty good. We can repair this for one, so why not? Because it's a full moon. And we could actually potentially even launch there if we really needed to or had to. And it's actually not a terrible idea. Why not do two from here, four from there, four from there? Maybe that's the plan. We don't have any more movement. We don't have any more repair that we're going to be able to use. So let's... <sighs> yeah, let's load these three up. Like, why? <laughs> I got three screws... That's all it costs. Bing, bang, boom. They're on the launch pad. And now I need to turn in more screws in order to try and roll the dice. But I don't have any. But they're loaded. They are locked and loaded, ready to go. I'm feeling good. I still don't want to use any of my cards. We got time. There's no rush. No pressure. So we're good. Draw three cards. Move the moon. Got a screw. Okay. Got another guard lord. Wow. Oh, wrong way. That'd make the game really easy if we went that way. But the Gargalore is going to do his thing right here. Yell, surface aliens flee to the other side of the planet. That's not bad. I feel like I should take that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Either way, he's still going to be two spaces away. So that's, oh, he goes right here. That's, yeah, that's just fine. And he's still under the surface. He's like, God, you're so dumb. I hate you. Get out of there. And that was an easy, yeah. I feel like we're doing really well right now. I don't know if this is easy or if we're just catching some good breaks here. But let's go ahead and we have four Gargalore cards. I, we don't need that many Gargalore cards. So let's, obvious choice. One, two, pay the screw. And if we pay another screw then we can roll the dice. But we're going to have to get another screw. And we don't have any screws. I'm pretty sure I took all the screws out of here. But we can figure it out real quick. Because I can put two Gargalores back on the deck. Oh, but he's now standing up. That's right. Yeah, okay. So, oh, there's two more. Two more screws left in there. We'll, we'll actually put the Gargalores back in there. We can get those back a little bit later. And have we used all of our movement? We went one, two. We're going to pay one right here pay our last movement to uh it doesn't matter we're gonna get a one no matter what <laughs> there we go we're on the surface hooray and we were here one two so we still have one more movement and we will go over here and we had we need one screw to launch it off we really got to get over here i feel like we're in a very good position once again i don't feel like i need to rush it all i feel like there's no sense of pressure right now which is which is, which is not ideal, but if I end up losing the game, then obviously there should have been more pressure. All right. So we have taken our turn. Now we, I guess we just draw our three cards, move the moon, do the gargalore. Bam, bam, bam. Got some red cards. We got another move the moon. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of killing the, uh, the sense of urgency right now. I feel like we've got this in the bag, to be brutally honest with you, because no matter what pops up on the Gargalore, I'm not scared. Rage, terraform, lift off points, and add two scrap tokens to each. Nah, I think I'll just cancel that off. Actually, yeah, we'll just cancel it. Gargalore, you're canceled. Get out. Which means, what is, that also that... Do not move the Gargalore. Instead, use it to cancel the effect of a Gargalore action. So he's still going to move as per normal, which now we do need to be slightly concerned about because he's he's aimed right here. But once again, it's back to our turn. We have two movement. One, two. Let's pay a screw. Yep, there's the screw to get him on. And then we also want to trade out cards before we do this because I want... I have to put two on there. That's fine. I'll, I'm not going to need to move anymore. So I'll just get... Oh, but that card can go over there. So I'll put two on top of here. And we will get back out... Look at this. Just, just gas for days. Can you tell I didn't need gas that much in this one? 
and ooh, a gargoyle, but hey. So now everyone is on there. We have our six on there. Let's give it a whirl. Roll the screw. If we get three rockets, we have, oh my gosh, yes, they're all lifting off. And the sense of urgency in the game has diminished even more because now, like, yes, literally, I can just do one, two, three, four. We have four cards. Bam, guaranteed to get it. Everybody's off the planet. And ay, there we go. But let's turn around the camera and give you my thoughts on that one. Let's make sure it actually looks like a nice... Look at that. Look at that Tom Vassell looking dude over there with a backdrop that looks good. So that was Liftoff, Get Me Off This Planet, the expanded deluxe edition. My thoughts on the solo are underwhelmed, unfortunately. I don't think this is one I'm probably going to revisit. It seemed really easy now that being said it's still a good one if you're trying to remember how to play the game like i'm hoping to play this on one of my game nights this week and now i can walk in there just like i know exactly how to teach this game sit down and let's play and i do like that but actually as its own separate being it's nice that it's here and maybe you know what if you have kids that play solo games if you have kids between the age of i'd say 10 to 18 to have solo game uh, to play solo games this, I think, would be a good challenge for them because while I was able, because remember there's one very specific point in the game at like the 10, 15, 20 minute mark where I was like, all right, I can start, you know, putting my foot on the gas, applying some pressure, lifting off some aliens, but then I was just more like, all right, we're cool, we're calm, we're collected, we don't have to worry about that. And I feel like if you wanted to make this more difficult, you'd want to take out some of those cards some of the fancy red cards in particular the gargler card like having those gargler cards and having three or four of those gargler cards meant that i was i wasn't scared at all of the gargler like the gargler did nothing to me to really hurt me the entire game most of the wounds that i had in this game were self-inflicted and yeah so in the end liftoff get me off this planet disappointed in the solo version of the game but i'll be brutally honest with you i didn't keep the original game because of the solo version of the game because well it didn't have a solo version of the game i kept it because of the actual gameplay itself and going back and revisiting this i forgot how much i enjoyed this game it's light it's simple it's easy all the different liftoff points are cool all the little tunnels to get you up are neat and they're all there's a lot more in the game so solo game probably not no Let's just flat out, no, I'm not going to recommend this one as a solo game. But still, Liftoff, get me off this planet. I'm excited to play it later this week, and the solo version is going to help me do that. So that's a good thing, but wah, underwhelmed. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below if you enjoy what I'm doing, because currently I am out of a job homeschooling and trying to make a dollar here or there. And in the comments below, let me know what was the last... Uh, What's your favorite alien game? What's your favorite game that features at least one alien? Not just an outer space game. I'm not going to let you cop out. But but a game that specifically has an alien in it. For me personally, it's Twilight Imperium 3rd Edition or 4th Edition. Either one, which obviously has numerous alien races. But let me know. What's yours? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.